Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of videos I've been doing tests on this Flat Cat Gear IsoClean 2.0 uh, isopropyl alcohol stove. I've been using 91% isopropyl alcohol and I've also been using the 70% uh, isopropyl, yeah, try saying that fast three times, the isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Uh, John over at Flat Cat Gear did a couple of numbers for me and told me that in this one I can use the 20 milliliters but in this one I need 26 because of the differences in, in uh, percentages. Anyway, I had a question from Zuzable, hope I said that right, where he asked me if vodka would work in this. Now, I've been looking for uh, stuff called Everclear. Unfortunately, they don't sell it here in the state stores in Pennsylvania. It's like a moonshine, very high alcohol content. One of these days when I'm out of state, I'll have to try to find one at an out-of-state liquor store. But I, a buddy of mine gave me this for my birthday last year. It's vodka. I tried this in a jet stove, a jetted stove, like the uh, penny can stoves, the penny soda stoves. And it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't light. But it might work in this. So I did some number crunching. This says that it's 41% uh, alcohol by volume. So if I do the numbers to get the same amount of alcohol as what I was doing in the other two, I need 44.39 milliliters or about one and a half fluid ounces. Unfortunately, the uh, IsoClean stove, the one and a half fluid ounces comes up to the holes, up past the holes. So I'm afraid to use that much because if it does light and heat up, then it'll be having alcohol all over the place. So what I'm going to try is just one fluid ounce. Uh, in this one fluid ounce, there would be 29.57 milliliters times 41% gives me 12.12 .12 milliliters of alcohol here versus in those two volumes that I used on these, it came out to... 18.2 so I'm going to be about six milliliters short or about a quarter a little less than a quarter of an ounce fluid ounce of alcohol here I really don't think that this will even light but I'm hoping since this is a different type stove that it will I may have to have this on top of candles or something to preheat this like you would brandy let's see what happens here Come on. I hate these things. There we go. Okay, stick it down into the alcohol. Room temperature is 54 degrees, so that's about what the temperature is of this stuff. No, just not lighting. The flame is right on the alcohol but it just won't light. Hmm. That's a bust. Let me try from a different angle here. Okay, it's going right on the alcohol, but it's just not lighting it. Got a little alcohol on the tip there. So like I said, maybe if I heated this up, put it on something and put a uh, tea light underneath and heated it up, maybe that would go. But just the vodka by itself, I don't know, they must have higher uh, percentage vodkas out there or something because you always see in the movies and stuff where they're, they're burning it. But in this case, I just can't get it to light. So if there's an interest, I'll try this again using a tea light to heat it up and see if that helps, gets the vapors going. But looks like as far as this goes, vodka is not a good fuel, which to me that's a good thing because although I like to carry things that are multi-purpose, I'm not a big drinker, but I hate to waste good vodka as a fuel, except maybe in a real emergency situation. So I'm sorry, Zuzable. This didn't work, 
But I thank you for the, the question. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. God. Bye now. What a waste.